like any good sales consultant worth a paycheck, you're responsive, right? So when a client says, get me a proposal and let's see if we can do business, you're ready to pull a document together and get it out the door. I've watched salespeople scurry through a sales fail that goes something like this. Step one, grab a similar proposal that they or someone else recently sent out and do a save as. Step two, do a find old client's name and replace with new client's name. Step two, delete headings and sections that don't fit the new client situation. Step three, add in a section or two that apply to the new client situation. Step four, add in the executive summary to accommodate new client's objectives. Step four, alter the pricing section. Step five, deliver, deliver the proposal. Not so fast. This haphazard process tempts even the most seasoned salespeople, but it continues to produce the same disasters as houses that get blown away in the slightest windstorm. When you build a one-of-a-kind home, you expect the general contractor to follow a process something like this. Step one, discuss the lifestyle, the needs, the wants, the goals with a homeowner. Hire the architect to draw up plans and have them approved by the homeowner. Step three, set the timeline and secure the subcontractors. Lay the foundation. Next step, put in the plumbing lines. Next step, frame the entire house. Next step, put in the electrical wiring. Then frame the house. Add sheet rocking to the, to the walls, to the frame. And final step, finish out the interior of the house. The contractor doesn't build one room at a time from foundation to fin finish out in the kitchen and then foundation to finish out in the bedroom and then foundation to finish out in the game room. In essence, they have four basic steps, research, plan, structure, and then finish out. To write a dynamic sales proposal, you'll use that same process. Research what you need to give or tell your new client or prospect. Plan your overriding theme, your key points that you want to include to support that theme, why you need to get the business, the benefits of your offering for what that, that specific client, your unique value proposition for that specific client's goal, your credibility builders that are meaningful to that specific client, and then structure your sales proposal with your settings, your sections and your headings. Open a document and create those headings that emphasize that theme and those key points that you've planned. And then, as a final step, do the finish out. Now, at this point, you want to go back to those older proposals, if you wish, those boilerplates that you have on file, and if you wish, pull out the paragraphs or sections that happen to fit this new client in this structure. But keep in mind that you may need to reword those sections that you have on hand to fit the new client situation or to make different points now under those new headings. In the first process that I described earlier, you're starting with an old house and trying to renovate it, sometimes with a cracked foundation or subpar materials that can't be updated. In the second process, you're starting with raw land and brand new materials. The effort in building it right the first time is indistinguishable from renovating. And the difference in the quality of that final sales process can be remarkable.